What up, you bad motherfuckers? It's Monday. It's a whole new fucking month. A whole new set of rules. We're six weeks away from fucking the holidays. Tricky Tricky is over. Thanksgiving is two weeks away. And I'm fucking excited. It was a great weekend. A lot of shit happened. I want to congratulate the Houston Astros for fucking winning the World Series. I caught the last inning of the game last night. I was busy all day. I forgot they were even playing. And it's fucking weird, man. I'm still a little kid at heart. When I watched the I watched the last out and I saw them all jumping up and down and shit. And I felt bad for Philly because Philly played a great game. They got the great series. Great playoff run. They got nothing to be fucking embarrassed about. I can't wait to get down there fucking to the show on the night before Thanksgiving. But I was watching something. Like I'm still like a fucking American wannabe. Because I'm sitting there and I saw the, I swear to God, the shit that gets me is the dumbest shit in the world. But it just lets you know that you're living in the best country in the world, man. The World Series is as American as can be. I go watch basketball. I love watching football. You know, I watch the UFC, whatever. Nothing gets me more than like the World Series. I, I don't know what it is. And I'll tell you what else I like. I like the Final Four. Something about the Final Four, those young college kids winning and stuff like that. Their moms in the fucking audience, you know, like proud of their kids. That's always done something for me because I didn't have parents. But last night during the World Series, one of the guys won and his, and his daughters were out there with him. And he was walking with his daughters and they were fucking happy. And I'm like, God damn, I never get to fucking do something like that. I, I would love to do something like that. I, I still remember watching fucking Michael Corrin as a kid at the NCAA in 76 and going that to me, like I love stand-up comedy. I love, you know, movie stars, Clint Eastwood and all that. But to me, like winning the NCAA and standing there, your parents and the fucking, just something. And when I saw Michael Corrin, he was a Jersey City boy, and I was a kid. I didn't think fucking New Jersey people ever did anything. I really didn't except Sinatra, you know. So when I was watching the the semifinals against UNLV that year, and they said O'Corn was from New Jersey, I was like, what the fuck? And then they said something about St. Anthony's. I'm like, oh, that's got to be a different St. Anthony's in Jersey City. But that Monday night when they played in the finals and I saw Jersey City, New Jersey, and fucking St. Anthony's, my head exploded as a little kid. I never forgot that. And it's the same thing when I watched the World Series last night, when they fucking were getting interviewed. I watched like 10 minutes. I, I turned it off before the kid got the MVP, the 23-year-old kid. But you know what, man? Baseball's over. That just lets you know we're close to the fucking Thanksgiving. And baseball went all the way to fucking November this year. November fucking 5th. That's That's fucking crazy. But I want to thank everybody who came out to the show. On Wednesday night, I had a fucking blast out there with uh, Felicia, Lee, Mike. It, it was great. The people from DraftKings came out. My, You know, when I do the shows now, my niece was there. George was there with fucking uh, his sister and her friend. The guys from Laughing Gas were there. The guys from Stoner's Clubs were there. Listen, man. I went to Neighbor. <laughs> yeah, the neighbors were there. We gave them an edible. It was fucking great. It really was. And I do these shows, and, you know, you get into New York City. Like, I'm not, I don't get excited till I'm in the Lincoln Tunnel. Like, it's great. When I'm on the three, I see my grandma's school. I see where the Iceman put the body into the hotel. I see all these things that kind of bring me back a little bit. I fucking love it. When I go under the Lincoln Tunnel, I'm like, I've been going through that fucking tunnel. It seems like for a hundred years. When I come off that tunnel and I'm headed into Jersey, I've been doing that since I was a fucking kid, man. So going into New York, when you go in the Lincoln Tunnel, you know, for a minute or two, you're like, fuck, when are one of these bricks gonna fucking fall out? I'm gonna be I'm gonna be like fucking Ernest Borgnine and a Poseidon Adventure. But then you get out and the energy in New York City is fucking great. And you know, I don't care how tired you are or whatever. As soon as you fucking get into New York City, there's just a buzz in the air. I was watching Mike's video of him walking through the city, you know. Listen, man, I've been everywhere. And it, and nobody does it like New York City with that energy when you're crossing the street and the whole fucking thing. And it stinks and there's a dead rat on the floor. <laughs> that never happens anywhere, you know. So 
we kept the Sony Hall, and you know, it was fucking packed for a Wednesday night. I think they oversold tickets. I think I had too many guests, but holy shit. There were people everywhere. There was reefer everywhere. When you're on stage, you see everybody hitting the fucking vapor pens. One of the dudes from my Patreon hit me up, and he goes, Joey, it's like being at a dead concert. And it really feels like a dead concert because you can't bomb. You can't bomb. Listen, I'm not having the best sets of my life. I'm trying new shit out that, you know, and you can't bomb. You can't bomb because there's so much love in the room. Lee got it. Fucking, uh, you know, Felicia did great. They were happy to see Felicia. George Perez fucking did a great job. Stu Fina is always a fucking trip. You know, he really is a trip. I love that he shows up. He just, he's a great fucking guy, and he's out of his bird. He really is out of his bird. When we're downstairs talking after the show, fucking George showed up with pastries. Oh, that was from George? They were delicious. Oh, my God. <laughs> I forget the name of this place from Ridgefield Park. But they got the best lobster tails. Everybody was walking around with a glob of cream on their shirt. That's why I told George, I go, George, cut those fucking lobster tail in half. I saw Lee bite into one and he had it all yeah, over his fucking, <laughs> he had it all over his beard and shit. Those lobster tails are so fucking good. The cannolis were on point. You know, I had the chicken, the chicken, he brought some chicken downstairs. They're just good, fun nights. Can I do a whole weekend of that? No. I was so fucking tired on Thursday. Mm -hmm. Holy shit. And the party started on Tuesday night with the mushrooms and the fucking edibles. Poor Lee thought he had a lobster claw for a fucking hand. He kept telling me that at the restaurant. He couldn't pick up the dish and shit. <laughs> then we came back and we watched The Thief. And, it, you know, Lee is a fucking trip. Yeah.